Hey everyone, and welcome back to Trainer Mark, the channel where we open Pokemon cards together. My name is Mark, and I am back with more Shining Fates to open up for you guys. Today we'll be looking at the new Bolton V10, which is actually one of three variants. I will be posting the other two variants in separate videos, so please stay tuned for those. But for now, we're going to be looking at the Shiny Bolton V10. So thank you so much for joining me for today's opening. I'm so happy you're here. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, Trainer Mark, for more Shining Fates and Pokemon TCG content. I really appreciate your support. Without further ado, let's jump into our tin. It looks great. And there's actually some subtle differences between this tin and some of the older ones. First off though, the shape of the tin is very similar to the ones from the tag team era. The corners are kind of cut off. I'm actually not a huge fan of the shape, but it's all good. The packaging is actually very different as well. These tins are usually completely wrapped in clear shrink wrap, but it looks like for Shining Fates, they only wrap it in the middle. I don't know if you can see that, but the plastic is only going through maybe about this part in the middle of the tin, going all the way around. I'm not a big fan of that either because I think it's easy to slip off and steal the packs or the promo card. So personally, I think that it's more secure to have the whole tin surrounded in shrink wrap, but the middle is good enough and the one that we have here is definitely new. And of course, the front features are Pokemon Bolton V in its shiny form. There's Bolton and there's Bolton. Each of these tins also come with more packs than usual. Tins have started coming with five normally, but the Shining Fates tin comes with six, which is why the MSRP is $30. And of course the promo card is simply amazing. Just to see a full art shiny V Pokemon as our promo is just so epic. And I am loving this product so far. So let's see if we can open up. Oh, there's actually a little bit of a, a tear notch at the top so it's easier to open. I'm not a fan of that because once again, people in retail stores can just pop this open super easily. It's kind of a brittle shrink wrap as well. But um, yeah, so those are some interesting changes between the Shining Fates tins and the normal tins. These are actually easier to open, which is kind of silly in my opinion because Shining Fates is such a, a sought after set and it's super hard to find so I'm sure people would love to steal packs in like Target and stuff, which I have seen many times, unfortunately. But there is our tin in all its glory, looking super nice. Let's pop off, oh, let me show you the back first, in case you're curious. Uh, those are the other variants here that I'll be checking out in a little bit. Um, there is kind of the blurb, if you're curious about what it says there. Okay, let's pop off the top here. Let's set the bolt and cover the, the top on the side there. All right, here's a close-up of the Bolton V Shiny promo. Very nice card, beautiful artwork, great shiny form. And just to have it once again as a tin promo is just super cool. And I love the new way that Pokemon is actually housing their promo cards in the tins. There's no chance for damage or anything like that because it essentially has its own little sleeve in this compartment. So good on Pokemon Company for doing that. Let's check out our packs now, real quick. We have six, so there's kind of this, you know, section in the middle of the, the plastic that houses all the packs, and we do have six packs, it looks like, which is amazing. Nothing else in the tin there. Six packs of Shining Fates with every shiny V tin. That is super nice, so these are Definitely premium and I feel like with six packs in the tin it actually feels deluxe like they actually made use of the space Within each of the tins because it's weird just feeling how empty the tins usually are with only like four packs But with six it actually feels Substantial anyways. I'm ranting at this point. Let's put down our packs here and get to the opening. It looks like we actually have Let me focus that up most of the artworks uh, From these six packs. I think we have all of them. We have the Corviknight the Toxtricity, the Dragapult, and of course the Shiny Charizard. Why don't we just get started with the one on the right here. Here's the first pack of Shining Fates for our Bolton V10. It is featuring Shiny Corviknight, which I would really like to pull because I think Corviknight is a really cool Pokemon. And there is a shiny form of Corviknight in this set. I would also love the Shiny Suicune, but at that point I'm just kind of getting greedy. So let's begin. We got a Rowlet, more Pico, one of two variant artworks for this card, which is interesting because it's only a common. Nicket. There's Eevee having a nice swim. 
Once again, the shiny vault cards appear in the reverse hollow slot. So just a heads up there. There's Gossifleur. We have a Choodle reverse hollow common. So no shiny in this pack. And our rare is a non hollow rare Zarud. Not a great first pack, but it's all good because we have five more in this opening. There's Rusted Shield in our code card. Let's check out the shiny Toxtricity pack here. By now, the Pikachu V-Box video should already be posted on this channel. So if you haven't checked that one out yet, please head over there if you're curious about what the Pikachu V Shining Fates box looks like. We got some pretty cool pulls there, even though it was only four packs. I was really happy with what we got. We got Horsey. We got Rowlet. We got a non hollow I'm sorry, a reverse hollow Rotom. So no shiny in our second pack. This is an, an uncommon card, and there is a shiny version of Rotom actually in this set. And our rare is a non hollow rare Yan Mega. I have a feeling that we're going to be seeing this Yan Mega a lot. I think we've already pulled like three of them. <laughs> I don't remember, but Thwacky, Gym Trainer, and our code card. If we ever pull the full art Gym Trainer card, uh, as we open Shining Face, remind me to tell you a fun fact about that particular full art card. But I don't want to reveal it until we actually pull it, so hopefully we do because I'm dying to share it. <laughs> Yanma coughing. There's the other art for Morpico, featuring two different Pokemon in the background. Horsey, Spinarak, and we have a non hollow sorry, I keep on saying non hollow a reverse hollow Yanma common. So still no shinies, unfortunately. And our rare is, nice, we got a hollow rare Decidueye. That's pretty cool. Our first kind of hit, I guess, for our opening today, but we still have three more packs and I am hopeful about them because we haven't pulled anything too crazy yet. Not even a V, but here is Gigantamax Charizard on the cover of this booster, so I think we're gonna get lucky. Let's see if that's the case here. Starting us off, we have Choodle, Morpico again, Coughing, Gossifleur, Rowlet. I'm feeling a shiny, guys. And we have a shiny Nicket. There we go. Lucky with the Gigantamax Charizard pack. We have a shiny Nicket. Very cool. The shiny vault Pokemon featured in Shining Fates usually have a lot of like Gen 8 Pokemon, some of the newer ones, while Hidden Fates had more of the original uh, 150 and others in their shiny vault. So I preferred, of course, the older Pokemon, but these are great too. We have a shiny Nicket, which is a brand new Pokemon from a Generation 8 Sword and Shield. So that's our first shiny pull here. Let's see if we get something else. We always get bosses orders afterwards. non hollow rare bosses orders, not bad, but not a two for one. There's Eldegoss, Dartrix, and Luxio. The good news is we still have two shiny Corviknight packs left, so there is a chance for an even bigger pull, I think. That Nicket is cool and all, but I think we can get something even more epic. Will it be in this pack? Let's check it out. We got Buizel. We're seeing coughing a lot. Shinx. Grookey. Trap Pinch. A reverse hollow Grookey, so no shiny in this pack, unfortunately. It's a reverse hollow Grookey, and our rare is a non hollow Manaphy. So those full art trainers must be kind of hard to pull as well. Nothing there. Gym trainer, float soul, and our code. All right, everyone, we're down to our final pack of Shining Face for our shiny Boltund V box. I hope you enjoyed today's opening. If you did, please hit that like button. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, Trainer Mark, I'd really appreciate the support. So thank you so much for joining me. And let's see if we get lucky in our final pack for today's opening. I think we can still manage another shiny pull or something epic. We have Trap Inch, Rowlet, Choodle. We have a shiny Rotom. That is awesome. So we did manage another shiny Pokemon in our final pack, which is... So awesome, and Rotom is actually one of my favorite Pokemon, and I was really excited to see that there's a shiny version of Rotom in Shining Fates. So this is really cool. This is not a Gen 8 Pokemon. 
This is a bit older and more classic. Shiny Rotom, what an awesome pull. Big fan of this card. And when we get a two for one, we got a two. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That like blew me away for a second. I thought we got like back to back shinies. Guys, you saw that for yourself. We just pulled a shiny Rotom card as well as a, a shiny, sorry, not shiny. I'm just like freaking out right now. A secret rare, rainbow rare, Alchemy VMAX in a single pack. It doesn't get any better than that for a final pack in our opening. There you have it, Rainbow Rare, Alchemy, VMAX, right after our shiny Rotom. What an epic pack that we got there. That is so awesome. By the way, this card's kind of randomly like in the set. It's just like a, a Rainbow Rare, Alchemy, VMAX because they didn't really know where else to put it, I feel like, but it's cool to get that card. And sorry if I yelled a little bit too loud right there but that was so unexpected and so cool you saw it for yourself all right everyone thank you so much for joining me for today's opening please hit that like button especially for that final super cool pack that we got and of course stay tuned for more shining face coming up as always take care and peace out